Hello, my name is Nigel Cox, Senior Horticultural Lecturer at Bridgewater and Taunton College. Well, it's the first weekend in May and the sun's come out again. We're still in lockdown and I'm sure that everybody is enjoying seeing all their plants and vegetables starting to grow and hopefully successfully. Now in a couple of weeks time, hopefully we will have lost frosts and that means we can start thinking about putting out our more tender vegetables. And today I'm going to talk about cucurbits. Now that is a group of plants, a family of plants, which includes marrows, courgettes, pumpkins, squashes, and cucumbers. Now, in about a week or so's time, you should be able to sow those outside in your vegetable plot. But if you want to get ahead of it, then now's the time to sow them in a pot indoors. Now, I have some here, which I uh, have been growing for some time, so I'm starting off early. I'm still not going to plant them out yet because it's still far too dangerous in terms of frosts. So, what you need to do is get a pot, a single pot, make sure you label it, a bit of peat-free compost. This time you can use a multi-purpose compost because the seeds are big enough not to worry too much about them getting lost in the, in the seed compost. It'll save you having to pot them on again. Now, with all of the cucurbits, the courgettes and marrows, they are... They have a, a, a sharp edge on either side, they're flat. So when you sow them, you want to sow them with the vertical edge upwards. So again with my trusty dibber, I make a hole in the centre of the pot. Now what I would do is I'd actually put two into the pot, two into that hole. And then when they come up, choose the strongest and then remove the other one. That guarantees that you, you're going to get some success there. So they will hopefully germinate if, if you keep them on a windowsill or in the greenhouse in a matter of seven days or so. And then quite soon afterwards, they'll start to develop their first true leaf. Now grow them on in the pot for three weeks or so. Once the danger of frost has passed, we can then start thinking about planting them outside. And I will demonstrate that in the second part of this video. You can, of course, also sow them outside, but you can't really do that now. You need to wait until the, the soil is fully warmed up, so probably mid-May, when you can do exactly the same. Plant them about an inch, inch and a half deep in the soil, and if you can, then cover them, maybe even with an old Coca-Cola bottle cut in half, just to like a mini cloche, and that's a great way of giving them a nice good start. So in a minute I'll move over to the vegetable patch and I'll show you how to plant the actual plants when you get to that stage, which is going to be mid-May. Well, here I am down on my vegetable plot and now I'm going to show you how to plant your courgettes. Now it's the first week of May. I'm going to plant it now and then I'm going to protect it with a cloche uh, just in case we get any late frosts. Now when you're planting courgettes or marrows or pumpkins, you need to space them about three to four feet apart because they grow and they need to expand. Ideally a nice sunny place and um, somewhere sheltered from winds because that's one thing that these plants don't like. Now when you're planting them, what I do is I pull out a, a, a source, a bowl shape in the soil. I dig down a bit and I create banks on either side. Now that's a really good thing because once you plant the courgette in there, you can then water it very easily, it holds the water in. So here I have my plant, I'm digging my hole in the centre there. And you want to put it at the same depth it was originally in the pot. There we are, we pop it in, firm around, nicely and tidily like that. And don't forget to water it in and label it. And there you have it, you have your courgette planted. Now if you're planting your seeds, as I say, wait for another month, uh, maybe th two or three weeks and then plant them in situ and when they both come up if you plant two together then weed one out and you've got your plant there and then watch them grow now courgettes you need to make sure that you constantly keep them moist and the other thing is pick regularly because little courgettes will become very large marrows in a very short space of time so there we are this is nigel cox i'm signing off again I hope you're all staying safe and enjoying your gardening and looking forward to the next few months when we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labours. So until the next time, I'll see you again soon.